City Clerk says it's 1.30, so that makes it official in my opinion. I'll ask Reverend Coleman if he'll give our afternoon prayer. <clears throat> Let's pray. The eternal God, our Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for giving us another opportunity to come before you, to thank you, and another opportunity to serve. And as we come together, we pray that you bless this, our city, this, our home. And we pray that you give us soundness of mind and give us the ability and the willingness to work together to make things better for this, our home. We pray that you bless sick, starving, grieved, and bereaved. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I call this meeting to order. Mr. Clerk, would you call the roll? Yes, sir. Mary Johnson? Here. City Attorney Peoples? Here. City Treasurer Martin? <coughs> still well. Councilor Tyrone? Is absent. Councilor Carter? Is absent. Councilor Robinson? Present. Councilor Cap? Here. Councilor Pulliam? Here. Councilor Taylor? Here. Councilor Coleman? Here. Councilor McClendon? Is absent. Councilor Mundy? Way here. down there by yourself. And Councilor Holt is not here. Okay. <laughs> We've got one, two, three, four. We got. Six out of ten present. Six out of ten with quorum present. We will proceed with our meeting. First item were the bid openings. There were two sets of bid openings, both uh, submitted by the West Memphis Utility, one on a flush truck and one on a generator. You have tally sheets in front of you. If you have reviewed those, could I have a motion and a second to refer them to the Utility Commission? May I make a motion re uh, refer it back to the Utility? Second. All in favor by aye. 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 Opposed? They are referred. Uh, I'm going to kind of move around. As you know, we're waiting on another councilman to make it. Under the minutes, I believe we had one correction. We had one misspelling in it. That uh, Are there any other additions or corrections to the minutes other than the misspelled name? I move we accept the minutes uh, as corrected. Thick. I have a motion and second to accept them as, as amended. All in favor by aye. 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 Opposed? They are amended. There were no items brought forward under old business. I'm going, going to move the new business item down on the agenda, waiting on the arrival of another council member. Under permission request, I need permission to pay Delta Roofing $72,815. That is different from what's on your sheet, but the $72,815 is a correct amount. And that is the payment on the roof at the police station. That completes all the payments except a $4,300 hold back that we have waiting on all the certificates. Can so I have a motion and a second to make this payment? So second. Moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor by aye. 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 Opposed? Permission is granted. Mayor? Yes. I have a question on that. Are any one of the uh, <coughs> commission committed people familiar with the type of roofing that's being put on? Are you familiar with it? Philip Sorrell is, and I don't believe he's in here. Actually, he did the... Uh, design work and the bid work on it for us. Okay. We didn't hire anyone outside. I can get that information for you. You're talking about the texture and the structure and the layers and that type of thing? Yes, and the type of material used. I, I, love, I would just love to have that for my personal record. We, we can give you that. I don't understand it well mm -hmm. enough to explain okay. it, okay. but I know it's <clears throat> it's a 20-year roof. Okay. And uh, Philip wrote the specifications, the design, and put it out to bids himself so he'll have all that information. Okay. So you don't know if it's hot process or not? I couldn't tell you the specifications on it. What did you ask? <clears throat> is it is it hot tar or, or what is it? Is yeah. it hot tar? It is hot? Yeah. It is hot? Yeah. Okay. Is it rubber or do you know for sure? Uh, no, it's not rubber. It's, it's not rubber? The, they used the, uh, styr the styrofoam. They, 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 what they did, they, 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 they went over, they overlaid it. They didn't, they didn't okay. tear everything off, no. Okay, very good. <clears throat> very good. I'll move into committee reports. I'll start with budget. Yes, the budget committee had a quick meeting last week to address the uh, new position for the Human Resources Department. There was a $28,000 amendment. $14,000 is to be shared from the utility. $14,000 will be from the general fund. And that was for... The total employment package plus software, software supplies covered everything. Okay. So. And, and he is on board, and he was in pre-council. Back here, back. Dwayne Douglas is sitting in the back of the room. Dwayne, it's good to have you with us. Thank you. Uh, airport. Yes, sir. These are minutes from March 15th. <clears throat> the airport's fiscal year 2011 
through 2013 DBE Disadvantaged Business Enterprise Program has been approved by FAA. The Airport Commission selected the low bidder TC Lawn Care as their 2012 mowing contractor. The closeout of federal AIP grant number 23 for the first phase of rehabilitation of Taxiway A is pending final invoice submission by the contractor. Once this paperwork is processed, application will be made by Airport Manager Linda Avery to the uh, Street Department of Aeronautics for the 5% match. And that ends my report. Thank you. I'll back up. I believe Tracy was not completed with his report when no, I moved on. No, sir. I'll <laughs> make a motion to the council to approve that amendment, please. To have a second. Second. Have a motion and second to approve the amendment, amendment that Tracy brought forth. Any discussion? All in favor by aye. Uh -huh. Opposed? Sorry about that, Tracy. I wasn't trying to ignore you. No, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, Public Works. Public Works met this past Tuesday. Uh, 2,300 tires have been picked up uh, throughout the city as part of our special tire disposal project. The sanitation department reports that the sanitation crews are working from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, Mr. Sorrell reported that on the Ingram Boulevard, they're starting to pour concrete this past Tuesday, and the construction is on schedule. The signalization project that's funded by the MPO, the project was bid by the highway department, but it came in above estimate, so it'll be rebid in May. For drainage, uh, the city has uh, leased a new small piece of equipment to clean out the ditches, and that was to begin uh, be placed in service this week. For the striping project, uh, the bids have been advertised and will open bids at the 8th. April 19th City Council meeting. Uh, we uh, discussed and approved a letter to be sent to all tree trimmers uh, in the area, informing them that any debris generated by their operation must be properly hauled and disposed of by the contractor. Uh, he also reported the highway department is preparing to overlay Missouri Street and it should be a three week project. We spent quite a, a bit of time uh, talking about the Great American Cleanup, and I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Robertson, Robinson's for a brief uh, overview of what's going on with that for the city. Thank you so much, uh, Councilwoman Taylor. Yes, we are talking about the Great American Cleanup, and you are invited to help keep America beautiful by joining in the Great American Cleanup. West Memphis this year has chosen to join. Litter, graffiti, unkept roads, blocks, and parks are far, far more than just unsightly. These are symptoms of uncaring behavior. We want to make our citizens aware of the importance of keeping our city litter-free, keeping our roads clean, and just being aware of how important it is to beautify your own neighborhood, taking care of your property. 8th Street Mission for Jesus Christ is going to do our kickoff. It's going to be Wednesday coming up. They're going to be beautifying the Roberta Jackson Neighborhood Center by cleaning out the flower beds, planting flowers, putting new landscape down, cleaning the James High Tower Park. So we're asking everybody, if you haven't gotten a letter from me, you will be getting one, churches, schools, fraternities, sororities, business leaders. I look on Broadway, there are a lot of businesses where there's just so much litter. Litter, keeping everything litter free is gonna be our main focus this year. Yes, some beautification. If you don't want to clean up, there are other things you can do. Your group can get together, donate clothes to nonprofit organizations. You're, you can get together with your children, toys, clothes, shoes. They don't want any more, but that's still in good condition instead of giving them to a yard sale. You can donate them to needy children, to needy families. So there are a lot we can do to help improve our city, the pride and people in the city of West Memphis. I believe the Evening Times has a piece in there today uh, concerning the great cleanup, and it's going to be wonderful. People are calling me and getting on board. It's not a black white thing. It's a community, West Memphis. We want our city to be something that we can say, yes, come and visit us. We are clean uh, and we can be proud of it. So I want everybody to join in with me and help us clean the city of West Memphis up. Thank you. Thank you, Lorraine. <clears throat> I'll move back up now that Alderman Holt joined us for one item that we needed to get passed. And the reason we've been delaying, it takes seven votes to pass this item and we only had six and 
Alderman Holt uh, left work, so I'm going to back up to under new business under Ordinance 01. May I make a motion we read uh, 01 by title only? Second. 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 Motion second read title only. All in favor by aye. 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 Opposed? Would you read the title to 01 for the first time, Mr. City Attorney? Title of this ordinance reads as follows: An ordinance waiving competitive bidding for repairs of West Memphis flood pump, declaring an emergency and for other purposes. Could I have a motion to suspend the rules and place it on its second reading? So moved. Second. All in favor? By aye. 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 Opposed? That's uh, unanimous. Would you read it for the second time? Title <coughs> for the second reading reads: An ordinance to waive competitive bidding for repairs. West Memphis flood pump declaring an emergency and for other purposes. Could I have a motion to further suspend the rules and place it on its third and final reading? So, so moved. moved. All in favor by aye. 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 Opposed, would you read it for the third and the final time? Again, for the third reading, the title reads, An ordinance waiving competitive bidding for repairs of <coughs> West Memphis flood pump declaring an emergency and for other purposes. And for the public's sake, what we are doing is one of we have four large pumps, two small plump, pumps at the basin down adjacent to the river. One of the four large pumps is being repaired. It's impossible to take bids on it because they can't give you a price on it until they tear it down. And once they tear it down, they have access to it and you can, couldn't take it anywhere else. So <laughs> we need to waive bids on it to get it repaired. And uh, this is a, one of the four large pumps. We have, a, we have read it for the third time. Could I have a motion and a second to approve? So moved. Second. Any additional discussion? All in favor by aye. 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 Opposed? It is carried. Would you give that ordinance a number? The ordinance number 2296. Did it have an emergency clause yes, on it? Uh, paragraph 2. Could I have a motion second to approve the emergency clause, paragraph <coughs> 2? So moved. Any discussion? All in favor by aye. 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 Opposed? The emergency clause is approved, and that uh, makes the ordinance effective. Mr. Holt, you, you, at your discretion, you can stay with us or you can leave us. Thank you for coming. <clears throat> I move back to the agenda. Next item were appointments. I had an appointment to the Auditorium Commission, the Parks Commission, and the Library Board. The Park Commission was Ted Ray. The Auditorium Commission was Barbara Dodge. The Library was Tracy Valentine. Uh, those are all subject to council approval after I have appointed them. Could I? Would you give me a motion and a second to approve these I'll appointments? Make a motion we accept the appointment. Ted Ray for the appointment. Have a second? Second. This is all three of them, Alderman Pulliam? All three. Okay. Any, dis any discussion? All in favor by aye. Aye. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Opposed? They are appointed. <coughs> okay. Yes. Do we still have a couple more on the parks? Or? I think I have one. One more, okay. I mm -hmm. think I have one more. And that's... Uh, we have another one that's overseas at the present okay. time. Okay. We okay. do have two people that are not there, but one of them's overseas. And well, let, 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 let me ask. Uh, that's what I was going to ask on that because I know they were having a problem. Is it any way we could temporary? I'm just saying, appoint somebody to it, you know, till he actually comes back, not taking the spot, but you know, <clears throat> temporarily. Because the problem that they had actually been having was getting a quorum, so that's why. I was I would like to do it that way because when he comes, I don't need yeah. to replace him now, but I'd like okay. to have him on there when he comes back. I can appoint him to a different position when he comes back. Can I mean, well, I'm fine yeah. with letting him have it when he comes back, but I think somebody yeah. needs to take the place because they've been having a problem getting a quorum. We, yeah. we do need to fill it, but I, we do want it where he can come back. Yeah. I think we can work that out. <clears throat> we have some uh, proclamations to make here today, and we kept some people on hold here so we could tend to the one item of business before Mr. Holt had to leave. So I'm going to back up to proclamation. The first one is a Child Abuse Prevention Month proclamation, and I, according to my record, Debbie Holmes is going to receive it. Did you know that, Debbie? No, I don't have it. Y'all draw straws and somebody come on up here and receive it. Bring them off. <laughs> or everybody all. come. I don't care. <laughs> I knew Debbie would lose and she'd end up up here. <laughs> where is nearly five children die every day in America from abuse and neglect? And where is the children of West Memphis or our future? Whenever one child is abused or neglected, all West Memphis residents suffer. 
Whereas 171 children in West Memphis are victims of reported abuse each year. And whereas President Barack Obama has proclaimed the month of April as National Child Abuse Prevention Month. Whereas the victory over child abuse and neglect will not be achieved without the support of the entire community and the recognition of the importance of awareness raising to increase the instance of abuse and support. We must support child abuse victims and their families. Whereas each April, the Children's Advocacy Center of Eastern Arkansas and other supporters of the child advocacy movement ask the community to join in outreach efforts to reduce and prevent child abuse. Therefore, I, William H. Johnson, Mayor of the City of West Memphis, do by hereby proclaim every April as Child Abuse Prevention Month and urge all the citizens of West Memphis to give special recognition to this very special month. Debbie? Are y'all gone? We'll step back down. Goodbye. No, wait a minute. You wait a minute. I've got something to talk to you about. Can you go back for a picture? Oh. Moving closer. Moving closer. Everybody smile. Everybody smile. I'm not going to get to the line. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know whether we were going to get you up here or not. <laughs> I'm going to read this because it's, it's so telling. Debbie Holmes has worked for the Mid-South Health System since 2005. In addition to her duties coordinating our supportive services for victims of domestic violence, she has also served as victim advocate for children and families seen through our Child Advocacy Center program. She has decided to begin to enjoy some retirement time and has cut back on her hours and will no longer be working with the Child Advocacy Center. We wanted to do something in recognition of her contribution to the Child Advocacy Center. We commissioned Angela Perani, a local artist, to paint the Child First Doctrine, which is the foundation of all child advocacy work. This canvas will be hung in the Child Advocacy Center in recognition of Debbie's service to over 1,000 children and families over the last seven years. That's really nice. Thank you very much. I love West Memphis. West Memphis has always been good to my family. Uh, most of you know my husband was the fire chief here for years. I tend to think that there's more good in West Memphis than there is bad. I agree. And our kids do need a lot of help. We have domestic violence, need a lot of help, and I don't intend to quit helping anybody. So I'm just going to do it part time. Yeah. <laughs> That's up to you. <laughs> The next one I'm going to present is from the National Community Development. I believe Mr. Pulliam will be accepting it today. Where is the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development hereby declare April the 8th through 14th of 2012 as National Community Development Week? <clears throat> we want to recognize <clears throat> and honor the notable achievements of our many diverse communities in creating opportunities for economic growth and entrepreneurship and improving the quality of life for our families, our communities, and our nation. The Community Development Block Grant Program is designed to assist low to moderate income families to improve the quality of life for homeowners and increase access to jobs and economic opportunity. Whereas private citizens and public officials must continue to work together to increase the affordability of housing, reduce the tragedy of homelessness and drug abuse, create more jobs, and increase the quality of life for all our citizens who are the most in need. Therefore, I, William H. Johnson, Mayor of the City of West Memphis, do hereby proclaim April the 8th through April the 14th of 2012 as National Community Development Week, and do hereby urge that all the citizens of West Memphis support and endorse these programs. Mr. Pooley Group. You say the dog. Thank you. I need to look for some water there. Yeah. And you're locked down. <laughs> I have one more, and they've changed who's going to receive this one. Ramona's going to receive this one. Ramona, you're going to accept this one. 
Whereas April the 12th marks the 44th anniversary of the enactment of Title VIII of the Civil Rights Act of 1968. This landmark legislation was amended in 1988 by the Fair Housing Amendments Act, which expanded the coverage of Title VIII of the 1968 Act. Title VIII of the 1968 and 1988 Acts, generally referred to as the Federal Fair Housing Act, made it the nation's policy to assure that fair housing becomes a reality throughout the United States by prohibiting discrimination in the sale, rental, or financing of housing on the basis of race, color, religion, sex, handicap, family status, or national origin. Consequently, it is altogether fitting that we mark April 12, 2012, as a time for rededication to the spirit and purpose of the national goal of fair housing for all and for the renewal of the commitment of as citizens to make the promise of fair housing a reality for all Americans. Whereas as a nation, we have come a long way over these 44 years in meeting the national commitment. Whereas it becomes the responsibility of every American to make their personal commitment to ensuring that all people are afforded an equal opportunity to obtain housing. When each and every American makes their personal commitment to justice and fairness, discrimination will no longer exist. I am deeply committed to the goal of fair housing and equal housing opportunity for all Americans. Furthermore, I am firmly convinced that the overwhelming, overwhelming majority of all Americans are similarly committed. Accordingly, we must now join together and translate our commitment into a clear living reality by reaffirming our individual commitments and ensuring that fair housing practices and equal opportunity in housing does, and in fact, exist in all of our neighborhoods across this great land. Therefore, William H. Johnson, Mayor, do proclaim that the month of April the 12th to be Fair Housing Month, invite all my fellow citizens to observe this month with appropriate ceremonies and activities. Since we've moved around all over the agenda today, I believe Mrs. Robinson has a special guest that she wants to introduce. Yes, I do. Ms. Valetria Williamson, you'll come to the microphone. She is a the, sophomore. You want her to right here. Right Ralph, help her out there a minute. There you go. She's a sophomore of West Memphis City uh, Senior High, and she's going to tell you a little bit about why she's here. Good afternoon. Good Honorable, afternoon. Honorable <clears throat> Mayor Bill Johnson and council members. My name is Lavatria Williamson, and I'm here today to observe your meeting and see how you all conduct your meeting because I was I received a letter in the mail from Congress and President Barack Obama to attend the National Youth Leadership Conference in Washington DC for nine days and um, I don't really have any political experience, so I wanted to turn to you all to see what I should and shouldn't do. And I thank you all for having me. Tell me something. How did you get chosen for this great opportunity? I scored in the top 5% in Arkansas for the hour test of basic skills. That's over the entire state of Arkansas? Yes. Would you uh, repeat that? I scored in the top 5 percentile in the state of Arkansas on the hour test of basic skills. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you for choosing me to mentor you today. And congratulations. <laughs> Quite an honor. Yes, yes. I never received one like that. <laughs> but I'm smart as she is. How many did you receive, Reverend? <laughs> I'm not as smart as she is either. <laughs> Uh, seriously, that's quite an honor, young lady. We're proud of you. That speaks well of our city and our school. Uh, it makes it us does. proud from so many different sources. It's not only an honor for you, it's an honor for us also. It is. It is. Very good. Announcement? Anybody have any announcements? That concludes the business items on the agenda. We'll move to citizens.